The House of Representatives on Wednesday resolved to constitute an ad hoc committee to investigate the circumstances leading to the untimely death of a four-year-old Miguel Ovoke. This followed a motion of urgent matter of public importance moved by Honorable Kelechi Wogu. The tragic tale of the mysterious death of four-year-old Miguel Ovoku, Ovoke killed as has dominated the media space for days now and the public outcry over this unsightly episode has prompted the House of Representatives to go institute a public inquiry into circumstances surrounding the incident. Concerned about the traumatic effect of the sudden death of this little boy, Miguel Uvoke, on, on the family and that of the classmates. Right on this we are further concerned about the negative image this act will leave on our country in the same party of nations of so, if such is not addressed. Mr. Speaker, we pray as follows. Observe a minute silence in honor of this deceased young Miguel Voke. Constitute a special ad hoc committee to investigate the circumstances leading to this untimely death of this young little boy within a report back within four weeks. The House has resolved to set up an ad hoc committee to investigate the matter and report back to the House for further legislative action. In a related development, the House also moved in favor of a motion on urgent national importance, the importance to have security presence in all schools across the country. Whereas the current state of transmission conductors in the Northeast subregion is inadequate and outdated, leading to transmission losses and inefficiencies in the supply of electricity to the region. Whereas the lack of reliable electricity supply hinders economic development, industrial growth, and social well-being in the Northeast subregion, impacting the lives of millions of residents. The fear of attacks has stopped many children from ever attending school again. In addition to the abduction, Mr. Speaker, over 180 school children were killed and nearly 90 injured in 70 attacks between April 2014 and December 2022. Mr. Speaker, with an estimated 60 school staff kidnapped and 14 killed, 25 school buildings were reportedly destroyed during that period. The majority of these attacks took place in Northwest Nigeria, where we had about 49 attacks, followed by North Central Nigeria, where we had about 11 attacks. Mr. Speaker, where the House is concerned that in Nigeria, the number of out-of-school children, as per the report from the UNICEF, was put at 10.5 million, Mr. Speaker. I repeat, 10.5 million. Before the effects of the conflict, you know, humanitarian crisis and COVID-19 pandemic we have felt. One wonders at present what the figure will be due to the effect of these numerous attacks in different schools across the nation. The House also at plenary on Wednesday supported a proposal to look into a security breach that allowed a Binance executive to escape from jail. Lawmakers expressed dissatisfaction over lapses in the nation's security architecture. Concerned that persons suspected to have committed such atrocious crimes against the state of Nigeria with already overburdened security challenges were kept in a guest house in Abuja instead of lawful custody of the Department of State Service or any other approved custodial facility. Further worry that the escape of the Binance Executive from the office of the National Security Advisor using a small good passport is to say the least most disappointing, embarrassing and disturbing as it portrays the porosity of the security architecture of the country to the world. This thought that weeks after the unfortunate escape and inability of the security forces to rearrest Nadim and Jawala, the Kenyan police arrested him on 22nd April 2024 as the International Crime Police Organization moves to extradict him to Nigeria as soon as, as, soon as possible to face the allegation leveled against the company.